scanning for audio. Welcome once again to a Tin Dog Podcast. Now, any of you paying attention will know that one of my all-time favourite stories from last year's Doctor Who was, of course, well, Russell T. Davis's adaption of Damaged Goods. So, there's another two novel adaptations, all taken from Virgin's new editions. Now, you have to remember that when you get old, you lose track of time, utterly and completely, and you think things that happened a couple of weeks ago and then you realise it was a couple of years ago. Well, this range has managed to make me feel ridiculously old, because the books that these are adapted from are nearly 20 years old. 20 years old. Do you remember the 20th anniversary of Doctor Who being on TV? Well, I do. And the idea that there's the 20th anniversary of these books is just mind-blowing. But it is. And there are two of them out, and I'll cover one this time and one next time. The first one is number seven though weirdly on everybody's download lists number eight seems to come first but we let's not go there number seven is theater of war this is the first time something's been adapted by the person who actually wrote the original book justin richards has gone back to his original text now yes arrogantly he sat down and went what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this cut all of the action out and then i'll just be left with the word document of all of the speeches and then and and, no it's not going to work at all He had to go back to the original pitch documents and take it back and retro-engineer the entire project and reread things he's not read for years, which must be, even from my experience, is a pretty scary event. Things that you imagine being fabulous are just kind of plain good. But this is a great story, and you can see why Big Finish selected it in order to work on it. For a start, it's the Doctor, Ace and Benny. Yes, I know in the novels you've got Benny leaving the Doctor in the novel immediately preceding this off with some Ice Warriors or something. But in this, she's just with the Doctor. So it fits in perfectly with any of the other range. But here we've got the seventh Doctor as portrayed in the novels. It's a subtle difference, but it's an important difference because you've got something that's clearly, well, scary. He is the arch manipulator here. This is the seventh Doctor we have come to know, love and indeed fear because he is so bad. And also in this story, we've got Braxiatel. Now the thing is, do I tell you what happens in this story? Or do I just assume that you haven't read the book? I'm going to have to assume that you've not read the book. Now, for those of you who don't know, Braxitel, Irving Braxitel, is um, from the Doctor's home planet. Yes, we know. It's Gallifrey. And he appears in lots of the Gallifrey stories. But he also keeps bumping in to Benice in her stories, her spin-off stuff. But this is his origin story. This is the first time they meet. And it's great that they've gone back and done this. So even if you're just a huge Benny fan, and let's face it, in this story, she just rocks. It's great. Yes, the ace that we're presented with here is more the Dalek Hunter munitions expert ace that was later on developed. So in many respects, she feels like she's coming later than the stuff you're experiencing on current Big Finish range. But that ace is also growing older. So is it a parallel universe ace? Or is there some sort of omniverse mismatch thing going on? That's up for you to decide with your own personal headcanon. That's also not important. What is important is that this simply rocks. So here is the synopsis. Years ago, an archaeological expedition came to Menexus to explore the ruins of an ancient theatre. But all but one of the team died. Now the only survivor has returned, determined to uncover the theatre's secrets. But then the deaths begin again. The Doctor, Ace and Benny find themselves caught up in very real events of Shakespeare's greatest play. When they finally reach the theatre of Menexus, the Doctor begins to realise that the truth about the planet may be far stranger than anyone imagined. When Benny, doing research at the Brexitel collection, the Doctor and Ace head straight into interplanetary war. It's a remarkably clever, well thought out and well structured piece. And, of course, as always, the performances are beautiful, unnoticeable, and they wash over you. And the 
structure so, well, perfect. Yes, there are Shakespearean things left, right and centre. More Shakespeare here than there is in Star Trek, whatever it is. But you know what? I don't care. It works. It works beautifully. Heartily recommended. Incredibly strong performances. It's just great. So with that, I'll play the trailer and let you decide for yourself. So until next time, be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Doctor Who. Theatre of War. Welcome to Manaxus. Or as close as you'll get away from the real thing. This is amazing. You expect us to believe... Wait, it's you. As usual, my reputation proceeds. Professor Summerfield, oh. but how... Gilmanic! Four statues that look exactly like the four of us. Intriguing, isn't it? That definitely shouldn't happen. They've detected us. Weapon systems locking on. They're firing. Get us moving now! We have to save the machine! A trick! A Ripperian trick! Get me away from here! Guards! Oh, how do I get into these situations? Strap in, Benny, strap in! Now, Doctor, take the machine and go! Now! While you still can! is silence. Big Finish. We love stories. You've been listening to the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast. Available on RSS, iTunes, Audioboom, Tumblr, and wherever podcasts are found. Why not become a supporter of the show by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Doctor Who and its associated properties are copyright of the BBC and no infringement is intended. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. 